Yep, sage right there. So, we're gonna actually turn into a sage now, so, bam. Yep. What sage? But Hima is the ladylike type. Well, that's fine. Let me confirm you're willing to train again from level one. Oh, gods, we beg for your wise approval for uh, Hima to uh, take a new class. There we go. Hima is now a sage. We got it. No, we don't need anybody else to turn to a, a sage. Oh, wow. She actually has like a nice little new form. Okay, I like this form, actually. Not the best of the best, but not the worst. Alright, there we go. So, Tima's now a sage now. Everything is back in action. And we just gotta grind a little bit so we can head off to Orocho. Uh, definitely not a good thing that we got all these going for us, in all honesty. That's kind of real bad, but whatever. Hopefully everything will work out just fine. Snowstorm. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try all those little messes and whatnot. Oh, boy. Definitely hope stage is worth it, cause I would, I would think that it is, considering how hard it is to actually get. Please don't. Just, oh my God! Why did you summon another person? Don't summon other people. Oh, dude, Snowstorm looks pretty awesome though. Whoa! Holy! She's at level one and she's doing this. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm like, ooh, and she learns healing too, dude, dude, guys. She's at level 4 already! Dude! She's all a gangster now. Look at this mess. Yeah, and I can change Salmon to, um... Whatchamacalls? Uh, a fighter. Then I'll have her be a fighter. And then she'll be able to take over the world! <laughs> Dude, I'm liking this now. <laughs> oh, I'm so liking this. Yes. More. More snowstorm! All the time! Alright, so I think I got my my almost full team up and at him. Just who should I have as Mira then? What, what should she be? Because, like, I don't technically have to make her into anything else. Ooh, and I got speed up too! Yes! So I'm gonna train her to level 10, and I think that will be kind of good for her. And then I kind of. No, no, I'll be fine, yeah. Just, uh, level 10 will be good. More grinding, though, is what it is. Is there a martial artist class in this game? Yes, there is, would be. I do recall that being the case. They're just called, like, fighter or some jazz like that. They're not called martial artists. But I've always liked the martial artist class, in all honesty, because you don't have to equip things to them. They're pretty fun to use. They're one of my favorite, uh, what's it called? What is it called? RPG people and whatnot. What is my opinion on Super Mario Sluggers? <laughs> the the Super Mario game with the baseball and whatnot? <laughs> I liked it. I I like Super Mario Sluggers. It's probably one of the better sports games out there in all honesty. I don't think it's anything too fancy or anything, but I would definitely say it's worth playing. Personally, I would probably go with like Mario Golf or Tennis more. Cause I feel like those games are played more. On top of the fact that you seem to have more substance. You know, aside from Mario Tennis Wii U, which was just awful. Learn Repel and Recollect. Okay. Alright, so we're at level 6 here. So pretty nice. I'm very happy with the results so far. Really happy with Sage. My goodness gracious. So, like, the Sage is just, like, really OP then. I'm kind of surprised though, because like, why wouldn't they have like a physical version of like an OP character? If you could have like a magic version of it, why can't you have a, you know, a physical one? Like that would make sense to me. And as I recall, uh, the Sage is actually the second terror. Um, the Sage is the second terror uh, job system thing, Jigger. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, you have to be a Joker in order to, in order to become a Sage. Uh, there's no other way to go around it aside from that, aside from the Zen book that you get, and that's why we went ahead and go uh, and got it because that helps us out greatly to that whole entire end. But I'm not sure if you want all Sages in all honesty. It doesn't seem like you really need more than one. I mean, you probably could use two. I just it doesn't seem like it to me. I've never been that kind of person that's like, I gotta have them all martial arts, I gotta have them all knights. 
That only happens when I'm training them. Like at Dragon Quest IX. Where it's like, I want everyone to like, learn this one specific thing and whatnot. And the thing I really love about Dragon Quest IX, in all honesty, that you don't see in this game. Hoporu! Holy! Oh my! Oh! <laughs> yes, please. Oh my goodness gracious. This is not something I expected to see. Uh. Go ahead and have a fight, and then you get to blaze more to the killer ape. No! They're all leaving me! <laughs> Just like my ex wife! <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, no blazing! No, no, don't blaze it! It's not 420 yet, it's 344, not 420! Not here in America. God, please stop it. Get out of here. Alright. We should be able to take down this, this, uh, melty guy. At least one of them. And try to play this more again. Please stop! Please stop with the hitting. No! They're all leaving me! Oh, great. Alright, good. We got rid of that so that we don't have to worry about it. Um, like, the highest I could get now is two, and that's not likely. Great. Okay, I got one. I got one. That's good enough. Oh, at least got one. Just like who? What do you mean, just like who, forced introduction? Just like who what? Just, just like the person that left me? <laughs> I have no ex. That's the joke. It's a terrible, terrible joke. I'm so lonely. <laughs> oh, level nine. All right, there we go. We're good to go. This satisfies me. Let's actually go and progress through the story instead of just getting our nice little like power mage. Cause like, whoo, she is looking more like the Ayaka, Ayaka Kagari that I know and love. Literal love. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot to mention that it's been raining over here. It's a sad, depressing joke. Quibby, don't explain the joke. Don't explain it. <laughs> anyway, it's actually been raining over here in uh, SoCal. Like, actual rain. We got it here in California. Can you believe? It's like the DLC came to the Wii U on Mass Effect 3. It's almost like it. <laughs> I'm really sad that uh, Mass Effect 3 is in this weird professional state of being the best Mass Effect on on the Wii U and the best Mass Effect 3 in general. But because it doesn't get the later on DLC that all the other ones got, we're talking about a uh, let's say let's see here. I go to the, there you go. That's what I want to go. What was I saying? <laughs> thing, 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 thing. I don't remember. Okay, I can't go that way. What was it? Something about rain. It's raining California. It's awesome. And there's actual thunderstorms going on. So I just heard a thunderstorm. That's what I was trying to reiterate. Lost, get together your conversation skills. Don't just thumb it down here. Come on. <laughs> Oh, am I a little too hard on myself? I think I am. I just have weird brain farts and it annoys me that I that I get those brain farts, man. Cause like they're always like mid-conversation brain farts. They're never kind of like I was talking about something and I forgot it. Cause like I always like 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 those. But when it comes to like straight up, just like I'll be talking and then like one thing distracts me and then boom, don't know what I'm talking about. You're talking about how bad the Wii U version of Mass Effect 3 is. That's what it was. Mass Effect 3 uh, actually isn't that bad on the Wii U. The problem is, is Mass Effect 3 doesn't get any more DLC that makes it good. And that's the sad part about it, because Mass Effect 3 is pretty much a good game. And I say that with a question mark, because the way that it ends, the way that it finishes, largely impacts a lot of like why people don't like it. And I get it, but it's just like one of those... You should never look at a game as just 
the way it finishes, but also the way that it plays throughout. Otherwise, I would tell you that Sonic Unleashed is pretty much a terrible game. Because Sonic Unleashed, I completely forgot about the final stage. And for all those that know, know about Sonic Unleashed, aside from the whole entire, you know, like, monster bit, it's not bad. The monster is not bad. You know what's bad about Sonic Unleashed? The final stage is an hour long. And you know what's the fastest time that people have on a stage? is like 30 minutes. Like, that's one of the achievements that you get or whatever. You beat it within 30 minutes. Like, that's how you get, like, an A rank. It's so stupid. It is, like, three acts into one. It is so horrendous how long that stage is. That final stage is just so, so bad. It angers me to this day. I'm just like... Everything else in Sonic Unleashed is fine until you get there. Like, it's like, okay, it's kind of a monster, but it, I could deal with it. But then you get to the other bits and just... No. <laughs> hmm. There we go. For some reason, I'm sneezing a lot, so there's that too. Still better than the last boss in, in Sonic Generations? Yeah. Sonic Generations' last boss is terrible. Like, it's sad too, because, like, that game is pretty tops for the most part. Also, Sam, why did you just die? Come on, Sam. Sam is. God, they're all attacking me. God, how did I get this far? How did I honestly get as far as I did? Well, I'm dying. Oh my god, dude, please. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead, dead. How should you, uh, how should your old Plowfa be, uh, Hmm, should your old pal Fubby get the Vita version of Skullgirls? Yes, of course you should! You know I'll always tell you that, Fubby. You know, honestly, I really don't know why people don't play Skullgirls as much, because even as a fighting game, single player, it's still really good, I will tell you that much. I think Skullgirls is easily one of the best fighters out there on the simple premise alone that it teaches you more than any other fighting game that I've ever played. Legit. Clerics always die. <laughs> I, I guess that makes sense. I mean, if Mercy's the one that say heroes never die and she dies, it's kind of game over for the heroes at that point, isn't it? I should always get beta games? <laughs> this, it feels to me like this is the origin story about like what the bad thing happened with Libby. When I, I told him just to get get the Skullgirls beta, beta version. And they're like, I should get all Vita games. Like, no, Whippy, no, what are you doing? No, no! <laughs> and then Whippy got all the Vita games. All the lesser, lesser, like, not as good as PS4, because for some reason they released it on two different consoles. I don't know why. And I will say, as much as I harp on the Vita, as much as I get mad at it, as much as I, I talk to Whippy about this, I like the Vita for what it is. I just don't like that Sony completely ignored it and legit was just like, every game you get on the Vita is now on a different console. So I have very hard time going, I want to play this game. Because if it's not just on the Vita, why should I play it? That's kind of my reasoning, and I know that's kind of weird and stupid, but I always get that way, just like, I could play this on a different console. I could sit down and play it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, man. At least you'll be able to play it online for free. And it would be cheaper than the PS4 version. And I could take it on a, a holiday with me. Oh! Wait, is the Vita online actually free, Flippy? Why did you tell me this stuff beforehand? I really didn't realize that the it was free. Is it seriously? Because, like... Now that I think about it, nothing did really stop me from going online on the Vita. I just never really had anything to go on with. Vita TV? I don't know, dude. Just 
Look, Quibi, if you try to, like, like go on these little bits and pieces about, like, <laughs> why I don't play my Vita so much, we're gonna be here all day just talking about nonsense, because that's literally all it is. I don't like the way it feels in my hands, and I know that sounds weird to a lot of people, but at the same time, a lot of people are like, I don't like the GameCube controller because I got frick hands that are freakish and shouldn't be around any small children. That's right. <laughs> Take that, everybody that has hands bigger than mine. <laughs> then again, I do have small hands for for what I for what I am, for for my height essentially. I don't mind it at all, honestly. I like my hands. They're nice. You ever look at your hands and go like, "Good job." I know I do. Is that weird? I don't think it's weird. I want to declare it not weird, just so y'all don't look at me. I think that works out, right? You could do that. It's my stream. <laughs> Start having Nightbot just say, like, <laughs> my hands aren't weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that works out. If you don't like the way the Vita feels, you must use a PSTV or Vita TV with a controller. Oh my god, Flippy, could you not? <laughs> I like... So, if you ever wanted to know how I interact with Flippy, wh wh why I interact with Flippy in, in general, um, this kind of sums it up. What, it, what Flippy just said right there, I'll make a point and then Flippy will come in to counter that point when I didn't even ask. I'm just like, what do I say now? Do I want to keep arguing this statement? Do I want to just conceal it? Just be like, we're done here? I don't know, dude. <laughs> That just feels like the most movie statement to me. Like, well, you could use the PS Vita's TV. You know, the one that, you know, Sony didn't promote very well and is actually being sold on, like, a discount price. Which, by the way, people, buy a PS Vita TV. It is easily going to be, like, one of those collector items on top of the fact that it's generally a good console. Because the PS... The, the Vita is generally a good console. Also, why haven't they bought Dragon Quest over on the Vita? And I mean, like, Dragon Quest, but the the original ones and whatnot. Like, Dragon Quest 3, 1, 2, and 3, and, and 4, 5, and 6. Because I don't recall them ever being on the Vita at all. Like, on the PSN store or nothing. I mean, they could, but... Mm. Alright, then. No, this is, this is the way I was, I was going. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to Orochi this way, but maybe. I hope so. I mean, I gotta save that little girl somehow. Gotta save him somehow. Did they get a PS1 release? Um, to my knowledge, 1 through 6 did not get a PS1 release. Uh, Flippy. So, 7 got a release. I'm not sure if it's on the PSN, honestly, though. I don't think it is. I don't think Dragon Quest 7 is on the PSN, as well as uh, Dragon Quest 8 not being on the PSN. And on top of that, Vita wouldn't be able to play PS2 games, because they just decided to not have that happen, I guess. Or maybe they do, and I don't remember. But yeah, now I think about it, no Dragon Quest game is actually available on the Vita that I could recall. I mean, they do have a Dragon Quest 5 on, on the PS2, but that's all I can really remember. Maybe they do. I mean, I just haven't seen it. Still, regardless. Meh. I just find it kind of weird that people are like, Dragon Quest VIII's the best one. When it's like, no? <laughs> just like, I feel more people need to play Dragon Quest V more. It'd be nice nice to, to actually play the PS2 version, because I hear the PS2 version is like in 3D, in 3D and stuff like that, but I mean, Dragon Quest V on, on the DS is also just pretty much like the best version of it, so. Eh. Plus you get to uh, uh, marry Deborah, and I love Deborah. She she is great. I love her to death. Um, well, maybe not to death, but you know, like, like I'd go save her. I would. Mm. Now everyone needs to heal more. Mira. Oh, Dragon Quest 4 did get a PS1 release. Oh, that's cool. Good. 
was it only Japanese? Like, is it, is it Japanese only, or, or is it something else entirely? Because I imagine it'd be Japanese only. Yeah, in Japan. See, yeah, boom. Bada bang. Not in the Americas where I live, where I can read non moon speak and read terrible garbage language part two. The badder version. Yeah. I would definitely say that's what in what American English is. God dang. I'm surprised we're able to maintain the language. <laughs> I really am. There we go. Going to get going here. All the healing, never with the not healing. Yeah, we're good there. Is it down here? No. Stop it. <gasps> I love it whenever I get these metal slimes, man. It's the best feeling in the world. It's the best! No, wait. Wasn't there a thing that I could do? Well, none of them leave. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna see how that works. I think that'll work out. Please stop casting blaze and stuff. Well, one of them left. That's fine. If one of them just left, that's fine. Yeah, the rest of them stayed, though. Wow. Alright, so I think... No, no one has it. Great! Great! No one has an item they can use. Yep. Alright, let's just hope for the best. Hopefully don't, hopefully don't only. You could easily emulate it on the Vita, though. I mean, I didn't hack my Vita, Flippy, so there's that. I mean, I could hack my PSP, which I have been meaning to hack, in all honesty. Because I have two PS, uh, PS as of right now. A one that doesn't have like its analog stick to work, so it'd actually be perfect for emulating uh, older games. And I actually would want to use it to like emulate uh, Game Gear games, so I can eventually uh, just like play them on stream. Because Game Gear games are pretty cool, man. They are, admittedly. Like they're a nice little fancy bit. <laughs> Come on, guy! How are you not dead? Oh my god, did I kill anyone? Oh, come on, man. Come on. There we go, finally defeated it. Alright, Flippy, you're starting to talk about these weird FTP client things or whatever. No, I'm not doing that. Whatever. Of course you never liked the Game Gear. You don't like fun, Whibby. And the Game Gear was fun. Alright? And it also had terrible promoted games that weren't promoted. And in general, it didn't have the third-party support that it did. It was the Wii U of its time. It really was. There ain't anything wrong with that. Except, you know, Sega just did not care. I mean, they cared enough. You know, that's all we could ask. Sonic 1 was the only game I liked for it, and it's better on the Master System. <laughs> yeah. It is, I'll admit that. I am glad I have more heal places to go to and whatnot. So, like, everyone could eventually learn heal. Was I saying anything about Dragon Quest 9 at some point, about how you could, like, learn with weapons and whatnot? That, that's what I wanted to state a long time ago, is that you could learn with weapons, that's, that's really cool. There you go. There's the end statement for that fit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well. Regardless of the fact, I just... I would like to hack my PSP because it would make it useful. Which, I, I don't like having consoles that are not useful. And I have like two Xboxes that don't really work. And I had no idea what to do with them. And I, I recall being able to like hack it and stuff like that. Like, it's... They're actually good uh, hardware to hack and make it your own, because like they could play like PS2 games or some jazz like that, something like that, so something close to that. Which I was like, hey, that's pretty cool, and I would definitely like to do that. But some games, like as much as I talk about, like, well, I guess I don't really talk about it, but I don't really like piracy. 
But there's some games out there that you legit just cannot get. It's just not gonna happen, man. There are not, not, there are not enough copies of physical Shantae to go around. So, if it's not released digitally, you just kind of have to be like, well, I'm kind of SOL. And it's unfortunate, but I just... It's like, hey, I want to play my game. This is what happened with Mother 3. Well, I think a lot of people don't mind uh, actually just uh, playing it just kind of... Uh, like, getting the ROM hack and whatnot. Because, like, Nintendo essentially like gave up all its sales on Mother 3 when it decided not to bring it over here. And it's like, more people just, like, kept talking about it. They wanted to come here. It, it could have even been Virtual Console, in all honesty. But no. They just... They they were jerks about it. Uh... Jeez, dude! Yep, there goes everybody healed. Hmm. I think this is as far as I got, and then I just kind of like lost it after that. Oh no, bears! Bears is bad. No bears. Not so many bears. Apparently my friend got an arcade stick. That's what I was checking. Because, <laughs> like, my friend, like, texted me, Oh, there's a Rochos. There's a Rocho Maros. Alright, so... Here it goes. First time through. We're gonna have the hero heal a little bit. Everybody else is fine. Alright, Rocho. Have at thee! There's a Rochi coming at me live. Let's have at you. So, we actually have nothing, so we could, Santa could just fight. And we'll have her increase. And that should be fine. No! Oh my god, 30! 30! What the heck? Why is it so much damage? Oh my god, dude. Jeez, dude! This thing is wrecking me! Hard! I only have a keel. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. I guess that was like a, like a check to make sure that you, like, you'll live. Please stop hitting everybody. Oh, God. I mean, we're going good on the healing bit, but can I make it, man? And the weird thing is, too, is that I have Sam equipped with, like, the magic thing. So, so Samus will occasionally just, like, do, like, 30. Like, so she's on par. But she has no... No! Lost died! Why? I don't need this, man. I don't need this. Alright, Marion, you're gonna have to, like, take the blunt force of everything. Oh, great. Oh. Spewed fire! No! It's bad. Oh my god, how much HP does this guy have? Like, I feel like I could, I could beat him later on down the road, but still. Mm. Oh, great. Well, it's down to this now. Why do all, all the boss battles go like this, where just straight up I'll be dead? Like, half the time? Okay, so far, despite everyone being dead, if, it's, if he does the, like another attack, though, yep, there you go. That's what it is. No! Oh God! Oh jeez! <laughs> we'll just 
just try a snowstorm, I guess. Nope, dead. <laughs>